Alrighty, let's check this out. Actually, let's zoom in. There you go. We got a walk. Okay, I got some thoughts already. And we have... Ooh, okay, a bit fast. We got some cool changes, though. Let's see. So we have a lean forward, which is good, but watch out. It's, it starts to cancel each other out here when you have that forward. Whoa, it's the wrong tool, but kind of, okay. <laughs> Going forward and rotating back at the same time. You can see it starts to almost have like a, a pivot off of here. So watch out. And it's also tricky. That shin is kind of stuck in place. You can see this here over oh, those two frames here. And then it goes forward. That's kind of the fine tuning polishy stuff later. But right now, I think it's the right idea to lean forward, but I would even here stay a bit more leaning forward. And then here it gets a bit odd because on your passing, you're not quite straight enough with this leg. And then we're going a bit early in that foot roll because the foot roll is not, not needed because you can technically extend that leg. That happens because you're, you would be extending and overextending and then you have a natural foot roll. So that's a bit odd feeling to do that, but then you don't go forward enough. So now we have, it's almost feeling off balance there. Because then you also slide forward there. We do have contact there, so it's not fully sliding. It's just a bit of an odd move there. So I would keep that extended and still have a slight lean forward. And then again, the same thing happens here where you have the right lean and then you lean backwards too much but the same amount of rotation that you have in the forward translate meaning that we're starting to pivot off of here this is the pivot as everything kind of moves this way and then we have a sudden really big lean forward and then a pretty big lean forward as well that's a bit too strong to me it's a bit much but then you stop this feels a bit more natural the amount of the back and forth but i would reduce the lean forward to maybe like this between these two but the rest feels like that kind of feels okay could probably try to even go higher with your root just a bit to extend them a bit more but watch out like as you go up here See the root goes forward and then we pretty quickly, but that's your, that's a lot of, you know, you got the weight, you got the muscles firing, gravity and everything. So that's going to be a bit slower. It feels like in your, in your TY, in your graph header, that is, you're kind of going a bit quickly versus uh, like the effort and then, then you go up. And I think that's going to help you also not get into this, this quick knee extension right there. And if you watch this, in, it's almost like a pop. This is good that you have a, a stop there. Again, it's a bit fast. Again, ease into that a bit more. And then we get super fast. And then suddenly, and you can see this here, if you look at your spacing, you go from this to this over one frame. Like this is a linear key right there. And it's all a bit post to pose where a little bit, I mean, you have a head rotation there, but then everything's kind of goes down into this guy that's looking down here. So you have to kind of, maybe you could, Rotate forward first, or you go down with the root, ease into that downwards, and the head stays up a little slight drag, and then you go forward. And then the pivot is still weird because right now we're having a pretty big spacing jump here, and then suddenly we're not going anywhere. So, what will probably help you is that you have to look at it in terms of, let's say, like your center of gravity in the chest, and then really plot out that arc uh and the spacing it's not exactly real spacing you know, so right so if you go up here you might jump from there to there to there and have a little bit of an easy at the, at the apex there and then you start dropping you can imagine this is your bouncing ball that you're that you're plotting out there and you can see how there's something off where you suddenly don't go forward enough here doing all of these frames and then we go further that drops a bit soon it's a bit too, too much like that. And then what happens here is that, let's pretend the pivot works a bit better. Again, it feels like your pivots are a bit all over the place. I'm curious how, you, how you're how you animating this, like where your controllers are. But imagine, it's like, all right, let's imagine that it's still kind of okay. 
say from here to here, right? This is your path. You would then, boom, compress. But now it's suddenly moving forward as if you've been coming this way. So what you need to do on this frame would be a much stronger, let's see here, this, this. You can see how this is happening. And then in your torso, this is happening versus your landing, boom. And to me, this would be, you'd still be here compressing and then go forward after a while. It feels like a sudden sudden forward jolt that kind of takes out the compression and up. It just goes like that. And then the back here is also a bit too fast. You're, you're going forward. And then again, watch your spacing is really big and then suddenly really small. But there's no way for the body, if you're, if you're going forward this fast and you're this off balance, how are you going to stop the body from continuing to go this way? And right now the body just slows down, which is impossible. It would have to be this leg, probably even further. That leg pointing this way is going to push technically back, right? This is this leg here, or again, here would stop the body from going this way. So that leg is too late or this is stopping too soon. They're both, both are true. I would tweak both but again let's pretend you are doing this and you're not going this far forward with your foot and it's like this and that weight is over there with all that momentum you would actually not stop and go back especially not so fast you would probably go here and take this for another step and then at the end you'd be more like here Alrighty, some good stuff in there there's some little tricky issues with weight and arcs and just little mechanics issues but it's still a good update. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.